Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar. Today is 18 of February 2015. My name is Nenad, and uh, before we begin, let's do a quick sound check. You just you can confirm me. You can confirm that you hear me fine, so I can proceed. So type yes if you can uh, hear me good. Okay. Thank you. So today we have a little bit of a technical uh, webinar and presentation. And uh, we will talk about price action channel types. So I will show you most typical price action channels and how you can basically apply to your charts and how you can uh, benefit from using channels in trading. So thank you for, uh, thank you for uh, confirming that sound is OK. Because yesterday I had some sound problems with webinar on Forex Street. But definitely it's sold out, it's been sold, so I guess we are fine to go. Uh, before I begin, as always, our standard risk disclaimer. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with the forex market. By accepting the risk disclaimer, you're also proceeding further with me. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Admiral Markets UK LTD takes no responsibility for the information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, it's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for a trade. These are not MUK's opinions, and the website in the video is not the .co.uk website, but the globaluse.com website. Forest is risky business, and this is a personal opinion only, and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. So, with having said that, we are ready to proceed, okay? So, what are channels, type of channels, and how to actually trade or better to say benefit from drawing channels on your uh, platform. So you probably know to draw a channel and I guess that most of you have some experience in uh, Forex trading. So probably so far you have heard about channels and uh, price gravity. So actually when we see a channel we know usually we refer to trend channel. So price tends to gravitate towards channel top and channel bottom. So if you see, let's say that the price is making an upward channel, usually the, uh, the price pinnacles are touched and you basically use two parallel trend lines to draw a channel. By drawing a channel, you know that trend is to either upside or downside or it can be also sideways movement but you also can see clearly where the height is where the high of the channel is and where the low of the channel is but basically channels are nothing more and nothing less than two parallel trend lines okay usually channels are showing a continuation in the trend direction, but a channel can also show you a potential breakout. And uh, usually when we talk about breakouts of the channels, we refer to, let's say, indicator-based channels, such as Donkian channels, or we can also use moving average channels. I will show you how to do that. But we also can use equidistant channel, which is definitely my favorite for channels. But needless to say, channels are, are a very useful tool, no matter which kind of channel and which type of channel you want or you wish to use. Okay? So the thing is, when we talk about channels, we usually talk about some trend. Okay? I particularly in my case, maybe some traders do it differently, but in my case, definitely, I want to see a trend 
or uh, some at, at least one swing or two swings captured before I actually make myself to draw a channel. If I don't draw a channel, that means usually that I can identify the trend uh, on some other way. So most of the time, if you follow my analysis, you will see there there are no channels. But sometimes I may I may use a channel, and most of the time I I've been using uh, my favorite type of channel. Say it's equidistant channel, but it doesn't matter even if you don't use equidistant channel. All channel types are great. Uh, channels are also serving you to pinpoint reversal points. So actually, when you see a channel, you can probably, if you are skilled enough, of course, you can pinpoint an impending reversal. Okay? So let's see, let's say that you, for example, uh, see a nice descending channel, and once the price starts to make lower higher lows and lower highs and then it breaks through a previous higher high then you can usually make a classic breakout trade but you need to know what price has been basically doing inside of a channel I will show you how to identify the price movement in between the channel so uh, it's not just enough to place a channel and then wait for the price to touch the top and then short it or touch to or touch the bottom then long it. It, it's, it doesn't go like that. Th th those things are only how some new traders do and it can be pretty much risky because channels are dynamic usually. We usually after two or three swings on intraday charts especially usually we can uh, pinpoint a possible breakout or we should move the line because there was a fake breakout Okay, so you, you just cannot uh, place a channel and then trade it from the top to the bottom. It, do, it doesn't go like that. So actually what you also need to pay attention to is to price action inside the channel. Okay, I will show you that. So pinpoint reversals that handmade channels. So handmade channels are channels which you usually draw by your own hands. And that is what we have all been doing when we start trading. Usually new traders are uh, making trend lines uh, at a uh, price tops and bottoms and then uh, they refer to handmade channels we can do it but you know I particularly do, do, do not need to do it because uh, I use a combination of uh, of both uh, both handmade and indicated drama is called equidistant channel okay and every MT4 platform has it integrated by default and uh, equidistant channel is a mix of handmade channel and indicator drawn channel. So, as I said, handmade channels are channels which we usually which we usually draw by our own hands and we use our own eyes to pinpoint tops and bottoms, peaks, and and valleys and so on. For indicator drawn channels, indicators usually mark the highs or lows and then draw a trend line one of the channels, one of good uh, indicator drone channel is called SHI. You can find it on the internet. It's an automatic uh, channel uh, draw tool. So once you install the indicator, it will draw automatically channels. It, it's okay. It's called SHI. Uh, I personally now more or less do not use indicator drone channels because as I say, it's much easier for me to, to draw it by my own hand by using equidistant channel tool which can be found on MetaTrader. But it, it's me, okay? I, I don't say that, that you, I'm not saying that you shouldn't uh, try other tools for drawing channels. I'm just saying that it suits me the most. And you will see by gaining exp uh, the experience in trading and going through, I don't know, through stages of a uh, New new trader to advanced trader and expert trader, you will definitely, <coughs> sorry, you will definitely opt for one single channel type, and that will be your favorite. I personally have started with uh, manually drawn channels, then I moved to indicator drawn channels, and <laughs> today I use both uh, 
mix of both types, equidistant channel. So, types of channels are ascending channels, descending channels, horizontal, equidistant channels, MA channel, Donkian channel, and Andrew's pitchfork. Uh, because Andrew's pitchfork is a little bit, uh, I can say, different, it's one of those types of channels which have more than only channels in the teaching of it. Uh, we will talk about Andrew's pitchfork in a separate webinar, okay? But I, I'm just mentioning now for you to know that there is Andrew's pitchfork, but actually Andrew's pitchfork can be used in, in some of the systems I know, and uh, I will use the opportunity to present you Andrew's pitchfork within the system which uses Andrew's pitchfork as the primary tool of trading in one of our next webinars, and I think it will be April webinars, okay? So I will just mention it now, but we will talk more briefly and uh, more deeply in the webinar about Andrew's pitchfork, okay? So for now, you should focus on ascending, descending, horizontal equity, and MA, and Donkian channels, okay? Those are price action channels. First, we definitely need to see an ascending channel because uh, this is uh, when, we, when we usually place long trades in uptrend. And you can see in this picture, this is ascending channel which is drawn by the indicator, okay? As I say, guys, uh, try to search for SHI indicator. If you are, again, uh, <laughs> lazy uh, or... Uh, you just do not want to go by the path of least resistance, you can definitely email me, as always, because I have this uh, indicator. I can send it to you, so if you're interested to get SHI channel indicator, you can write me an email and I will send you. So this is one of the good indicators, actually. And whether you're trading a price action, or you want to trade uh, indicators-based uh, uh, systems, you can use SHI indicator uh, in, in, in your own system. Uh, Jan is giving me an email. Please, Jan, I cannot write your email at the moment, so you just need to send me uh, the request for this indicator on my email, and you all know my email is tarantulafix gmail.com, okay? Tarantulafix at gmail.com, okay? So this is my email and feel free to send me an email request. So when you plot SHI channel, usually it will, it will, it will form uh, two parallel lines with a middle line inside of it. And it, it's good. Actually, it's good. So what I suggest you to do is you can see the range. You can see the range of the price. And this is when you see today's range 557, it's quoted for, it's basically made for five quote brokerages, four quote brokerages. So you will usually see 557. That means that the range is 55. It's not 557, it's 55. Okay? So uh, you, you can see the statistics here. Okay? Then you can see what is the channel size, uh, size and the slope of the channel. You can see uh, the distance between high and low, pips from open, top daily range, bottom daily range. It's actually very, very useful. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Greg is asking, can one get the heart line on the equidistant channel on MT4? I don't think so, but I thought I would ask. Uh, Greg, what do you mean when you say heart line? on the equidistant channel on MT4. I'm not sure that if I, underst if I understood you correctly, the hard line on the equidistant channel. Basically, ah, the mill line, you, you refer to the mill line. No, as far as I know, uh, there is no mill line on the equidistant channel. Yeah, there is no mill line. Basically, uh, if you want to see mill line, you can use SHI channel. This, this channel has the mill line or hard line. It's a new term for me, actually. I have learned something today. I like it, hard line. So you can also use uh, you can also use moving average channel 
type I will show you moving average channel type and uh, that channel actually has hard line okay but on the equidistant channel basically you don't need to do it uh, now it's very important for all of you to know that you don't trade these channels just by themselves for example if I see that this is really the peak I want to see another confirmation okay if this is the peak and this is the bottom okay it's great but I want to see another confirmation so we actually use channels with other indicators who can help us which can help us to pinpoint the exact entry. You see, here the price was moving uh, obviously in uptrend, then it dropped down, but you can see this channel line is, I can say it, it was broken to the downside. And obviously you could have traded this breakout of the channel, but actually that wasn't a breakout, this was so-called fake out, okay? So this is not a breakout, this is a fake out because there is no continuation after the breakout and you can see then the price got back into the channel so my suggestion is uh, for all of you who are trading price action and indicator based systems you can and you should use these types of channels these types uh, for uh, for confluence points guys one of my uh, favorite uh, things to do is actually trading on, on intraday time frame you can see the analysis which I do every single day and and those weekly forex recap entries I really prefer to see a confluence points that is what I call POC points of confluence and if you want to trade system a system you should definitely have for example how, how I see a good system one leading indicator one lagging indicator and one pivot point indicator and then you can use usually <clears throat> make entries just by using couple of indicators you don't need to stack the indicators on the chart and channel channel type each of these channel types can be applied to each single system it doesn't matter if you use trading on 15 minutes time frame or if you trade on four hour or one hour time frame Channels are welcomed in each single and every single type of trading because if you apply a channel, you will see the confluence. Let's say, for example, that at, at, at this price, there was an important pivot point, okay? And you can see there is a channel. There is also a pivot point here. And let's say that you have made your Fibonacci from this bottom to this top and you see Fibonacci levels. Now, let's say you see a pivot point here you see a Fibonacci level and you see the, the basically the low of this channel of course that, that's a confluence and you can use the confluence to pinpoint the exact entry for your price you don't need to wait for the candle to close because you know if you go with candle close then you would obviously be a little bit late in the trade I'm not saying it's not profitable or it's bad or something similar but if you wait for the candle to close you know it's a confirmation but if you use points of confluence uh, in the proper way <coughs> sorry uh, you will be more accurate in pinpoint the exact entries from supply or demand zones or I call it support and resistance that is why I always have a buffer of 5 to 10 pips inside the zone because guys you want to trade in the zone okay you want to trade in the zone I think there is a book by Mark Douglas it's called trading in the zone or something like that as far as I remember it's actually not bad to read it and when I say trade in the zone I also refer to make an entry in the zone okay because you know, sometimes, sometimes, uh, and very often, people and traders do like to wait for a confirmation, okay? And usually what happens is, if you wait for confirmation, the price is already going in your direction. So if this was, let's say, a confluence point at 106.80, 
and you made an entry, I don't know, at 100, at 85, let's say, and the candle close basically, for example, is here at uh, 95 or even even uh, uh, higher, then you, you miss those 15 or 20 pips, okay? So basically, it, you, you missed 15 or 20 pips. And what I prefer actually to do is, I really love to see confluence points and the exact trend, and when I see that the trend is up, I just make my trend lines, whatever tools I use, and pinpoint the entry. So actually, if you really want to use the channels, you can use it in your own systems. They will definitely help you to define the trend and possibly to find a good entry point. Uh, so ascending channels are showing up in uptrend. That is why we call it ascending channels. And by the looks of this chart, you can see that this is the low, this is the high. This is high low. Now this is lower high, but you see the price has been trapped here. Actually, it started to make an upward movement. Then this is the lower low or low, and this is another high. So you see this price action without channel, it can be identified for a sharp eye as, as an uptrend. But if you see the channel, then it's much easier to define this price action as an uptrend. Because guys, the perfect uptrend, the perfect uptrend is this. If you have a low and you have a high, then you have a pullback making a higher low, then you have a trust making a higher high, then you have another pullback making a higher low, then you have another trust making a higher high. Actually, there is a perfect uptrend, right? But we don't use, we don't, Today, for example, prices are really ranging a bit, and and we can see even GBP dollar it was jumped it jumped up uh, during the London session, and now it's it's it looks like it's going nowhere. Okay, it, it's been rejected from the from the resistance, but guys, you know, this is not we don't see a perfect uptrend. Okay, so by using channels, you can define trend easy, easier. For me, it's okay. I can define this price action movement. Now, forget these channel lines. Okay, do not look at the channel lines. Just observe the price action. Okay, it looks bullish, right? But still, you know, this can be treated as head and shoulders, right? It's not a perfect uptrend. Look at this: left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Now, if you use channel. You can see that this is a perfect up, that this is not a perfect uptrend, but it's still uptrend. But you can also pinpoint a breakout point. This is neckline. So when head and shoulders is broken to the downside, it's called a neckline break. And you can see that the perfect confluence point here in this ascending up channel is basically the neckline of left head right so-called head and shoulders pattern. And now, guys, now remember what I told you at the beginning of the webinar. Observe the price action inside the channel. Do not focus yourself just on channel stops, channel tops and channel bottoms. Observe the, per the price action. Price is everything in the trading. Price is everything. Okay? You should always observe price action. I know that it's very hard for traders who are actually trading indicator-based systems. I'm not saying again, and I'm not implying that indicator-based systems are not good or they're bad or something like that. No, they're good in its own right. But you know, if you, if you at least are inclined a little bit more to a price action, then you always should observe what price is doing, even inside the channel. So, if this is the shoulder, left, if this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Now, what does it it's saying? It says, this is uptrend, because you can see the, the slope of this channel. It's going up, okay? This is up channel, guys, and it's going up. So, if this is the, 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 the up slope, the up, uh, the up channel, ascending channel, you can see a potential short trade in this up channel counter trend trade
Because if this is a neckline, now obviously because I don't have the tool, I cannot draw it perfectly, it corresponds to the channel break. And you, I have already taught you how to trade breakouts. Trigger happy, breakout, retest, breakout, pullback, continuation. Those are three ways to trade breakouts. Trigger happy trade, breakout, uh, retest trade, or breakout, retest, continuation trade. And you can define the trend, but you can also trade counter trend. Now, obviously, for counter trend trading, you should see a pattern which is actually a reversal chart pattern and inside the channel. So in this example, we can see head and shoulders inside ascending channel. And that tells you that you can still make long trades at the very bottom of the channel. For example, if you pull your Fibonacci from this point to this point, you will probably have a level of Fibonacci somewhere around this region. And you can basically go with a low risk and try to trade with only 10, 15 pip stop loss below. Long trade. Obviously, if you want to trade to the short side, there, there should be a breakout before you actually go short. But it's still a good thing because, because it will keep you from going in the wrong direction. Now, <clears throat> traders usually trade channel reversals and breakouts. But as I say, you can also place a trend trade. So if this is uptrend, you can place up. Uh, you can place a long trade somewhere at the confluence zone of the various price action tools and the channel. The steeper the channel is, the stronger the move is. Now, obviously, if you see the, the channel like this, that will be a steep channel, okay? But you can see the move is 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 is, is strong. That means that the retracement will be maybe stronger than the move. So steep channels are not preferred. Okay? We do not like to see steep channels. It's always better to see this type of channel than to see a steep channel, guys. Okay? And this is the example of a proper ascending channel. Okay? So this is a proper ascending channel. It goes up. It shows you the uptrend, it shows you the potential reversal, and it's not steep. You don't want to see channels like this or like this. That's, that's, that's too steep. And that also signifies, this kind of channel signifies that the price, which is indeed captured in 15 minutes time frame, it's calm price action. It's not violent price action. You don't want to trade violent price action. You want to trade calm price action, which is slowly grinding to the upside, not going in the direct jump. You know what the direct jump is. I already showed you. Direct jump is when the price is breaking out in the long direction without any proper pullback. That's called direct jump. In this example, we see a slow grind of the price towards the channel lines and possible confluence points within the zone. Okay? Within the zone. You don't want to trade outside of the zone. Because if you don't see a trend, you see then usually sharp tooth or whipsaw movement or you see sideways movement. That's not the zone. You don't want to trade that. I define the zone within the trend, not without the trend. Because trend is moved by big money. Without big money, there is no trend. What did I say a couple of days ago? If you remember Forex uh, webinar with Admiral Markets, and we made a long on Euro in between 3050 to 3070. You remember the trade from our last recap. It was good for more than 70 pips. But what did I say, guys, if you remember? Today, I'm referring to my words. Today, we have USA Bank Holiday. And probably, there are some market makers which are intentionally moving the price to the downside. And I, I'm telling you, I think that this euro dollar should be bought into. And if you bought into lower at 30-30, you would have made 100 pips of profit because our stop was at 12 95. Okay? 
Now, what I'm, what I'm, what, why, am, why am I telling you that? Because I want to stress out how important for you is to know that big money is moving the market. When you see the trend, trend is your friend. Do not forget that ever in your trading life. Trend will give you the money. Counter trend will give you the chance to, to make some money without the, without the proper trend. And it's the earliest sign of reversal. But the thing is that the big money is moving the market. And if you follow big money, you're following the shark. You're actually the fish who is following the shark. Okay? The same thing applies to descending channels. The same thing as, we, as I shown you for ascending. You see descending channel. You see how the indicator really nicely plots these, these trend lines. You see tops, and this, was the, and this is the bottom. Obviously, before this bottom has been made, we had a channel like this. And actually, all of these indicators, which automatically plots, plot uh, channel lines for you are, uh, are dynamic also channel indicators and they, they will move the channel line once new lower new top has been made. Okay? Descending channels show in downtrend. Traders usually trade a channel reversal and breakout. But we also trade and we are watching the price action inside the channel, guys. Inside the channel. Steep channels are not preferred. And this is the example of a proper descending channel. Now, in this descending channel, what we can observe is basically an M pattern which has been broken. So, you can see this. This is M pattern here, guys. And what does it says to you? What does it say? What does it say? It says that if this low is broken, the price will indeed test the channel line. But the first channel line which will be tested is, let's call it, how it's called, heart line. And this is the middle line. And you can see the breakout of this low has perfectly tested the heart line of this channel. Okay? You see the price. Now, this is what I want to tell you guys. If you want to delve a little bit deeper into price action, observe the price action inside the channel. And you can trade in the zone. This is downtrend, guys. This is our zone on 15-minute time frame. So we are trading inside the zone. M, it's a trend to the downside. M is bearish pattern. This is the breakout point. And look at the perfect retest of this. This is the breakout point, and this was the retest. This week here was the retest. Okay, so trigger happy trade at this point, breakout retest at this point, continuation at this point. But you wouldn't trade continuation because from this point you don't have much space to trade towards the target. So it's always better to take a trigger happy trade at the breakout of M point because if you if you if you take the trade here, you still have the room to go down. And you can see how it reacted. So channels can be used for trend trading and both for counter trend and trade trading and of course breakout trading. Okay, and horizontal channels, more, most of the time you won't be seeing a, a lot of horizontal channels. You won't be trading horizontal channels. Now, obviously, this looks like a little bit inclined to the downside, but you see the slope. You see the indicator, what, what it says, minus 0 0.90. So it's actually not a big slope. In the contrary, at this point, it was minus 7.53 so actually it's good to trade but at this point when you see that the slope is something around minus 1 minus 0 point something 
you don't want to trade it because it's a horizontal channel. Look at this is this really you can also make a hand thrown channel here. And it's not I I perfect I particularly do not want to trade these types of channels. Greg is asking, do you normally use 15 minute charts for channels? No, Greg, I usually use uh, one hour, one hour channels because I prefer to trade intraday. But uh, of course, if your system is telling you to trade on 15 minutes, and basically the 15 minute time frame is a sort of uh, swing scalp trading. So swing scalp is uh, in between uh, scalps and uh, uh, intraday positioning. Usually swing scalps are targets are in between 15 and 25 pips. So uh, the thing is, I particularly use it on one hour time frame, but it, it's really it shows you a great price action on 15 minute time frame. Okay, 15 minute time frame. Yes, I'm using them, but on in one hour time frames. If I see if I see a proper channel type, of course. But because I particularly trade my own method, Camarilla MACD, that that is uh, the thing is uh, most of the time I use other tools, but occasionally I also use shells. Occasionally, so th this is definitely uh, you see the slope. As I said, minus 0 0.90. So we don't want to trade this type of channel. So the price can break out, it can fake out. Usually when you see this type of channel, which is sideways, which is not sloping in either direction, we will be prone and the price will be prone to fake out. This is a fake out. Obviously this was the top of the channel, then this was another top fake out. So what I would like to see is actually trend channel as we saw it in prior two slides. Minus 0, minus 0 0.90, minus 1 are basically sideways moving price action channels. So horizontal channel marks sideways action. The price is moving up and down without a clear trend. The best is to avoid horizontal movement and guys wait for the trend to develop. How you define the trend? by using swing highs and lows. For example, you want to have an uptrend. This is, let's say, price action. And you have a breakout of this trend line to the upside. So you then, when you see a breakout, you mark your points. This is the low, this is the high. Next pullback shouldn't be below this low. If the price has made a high low, you can use the first swing to define uptrend. I usually use the first swing to define uptrend. The second swing is when the trend has been established. Okay? So the perfect trend is always trust, pull back, trust, pull back, trust, pull back. Higher highs, higher lows for uptrend lower highs, lower lows for downtrend. Equidistant channel. How you define and how you use equidistant channel. Okay, I let me pause the screen. I will open my chart and show you how I actually draw the channel. Equidistant channel. Okay. You see the chart now. You see, this is GBP dollar daily chart. It doesn't matter. I will just use for for uh, showcase purposes. So what you do is basically insert. Then you go to channels, equidistant, and you want to see tops and bottoms. Okay. So if this is the bottom of the channel. Okay. You want to place a top. You click, you, you, you just move your channel lines like this, and the channel will move itself. So you see how it's perfectly captured here. First point, look, 
second, third. Look at this. It's perfect equidistant channel. And even to the upside, look how price is rejecting the channel. Look. And this was the breakout here at this point on daily chart. So you just need to, to use the tool for proper play. So you, you don't need to use, you can use, once you spot a trend, you can use the channel lines. Okay, so this is probably, look at this, high, this is low, this is high, so this is lower high. So from this point, we can define an uptrend. We go, we go it like this, and you connect it. It's easy. Actually, we don't need to correct anything. It, it was perfectly placed. For let's say we use this move here, from this point to this point, and it's automatically rayed out in the chart. Look, it's uptrend, but you can also trade breakouts in the uptrend. You see how good equity, look at this, back in the channel. So I really prefer to use uh, equidistant channels as, as a confluence point if I, see, if I see some confluence inside it. So every MetaTrader 4 has it. You just need to connect tops and bottoms and then move the line to actually reflect the channel top or bottom. It's very easy. You don't have to be skilled in MetaTrader use to know how to draw equidistant channel. I showed you, so use my example. Equidistant channel is handmade indicator drawn. So actually, when you see, when you spot a equidistant channel, you need to draw it as I did, but we, we need to know that it's also indicator. Because it's it's you don't do it with with uh, your own handmade trend lines. Equidistant channel is indicator, which is basically handmade. So you need to draw by your hand. It's actually two parallel lines directly from MT4, and my preferred method, of course, of charting the channel. This is all. Look at this price section. It's also, it also tells you that the price is in uptrend and when the price is moving, for example, if it made a new low, we could place, if we have two lows, we can move this line to actually to this point. Then we have handmade channels. Usually handmade channels are most obvious on the chart. This is a horizontal channel. And this is actually can be treated as a rectangle pattern. And you know how rectangles are traded. Usually when the price breaks out of the rent out of the rectangle, we trade the breakout. And rectangle pattern is actually a channel which has two parallel lines and it's moving sideways. And you see I just mark a low and high. And then I mar mark another high, which was actually at this point. This is a low, which is very, very close to this point. And actually, this was the breakout retest. From this point, there was a continuation. Handmade channels, you can do it. But uh, I advise you to use only handmade channels when you see horizontal price movement. You mark the top and the bottom of the range. In other cases, you should use either SHI channel, let's say, a good indicator channel, or equidistant channel. And this is moving average channel. And actually, this channel is very good even for, for use in one hour time, in one minute time frame trading. And it's called the river. This channel is called the river. Uh, Raghi Horner first introduced 34 moving average channel and actually I read a book back in time, I think it was four or five years ago, where I posted uh, M1 scalping system based on this uh, 
these channel types. It's actually called the river. And uh, this EMA channel consists of 34 EMA, and it's 34 EMA high, 34 EMA low, and 34 EMA close. So high, low, and close will give you this river or MA channel. Now, obviously, if you if you uh, put other numbers in EMA settings and you use high and low and close, you will get also MA channels. Moving average channels are uh, dynamic channels, and because they are dynamic, they are following the price movement, which is usually telling you the trend direction and or rejections. In this particular system, the thing, the main thing was to find the rejections of these moving average channels with big candles. So if you see rejection as in this example, this is big candle, you open your short here and basically to take some pips out of one minute chart. I particularly do not trade any more one minute charts because uh, I personally am not uh, inclined to stressful trading. But the thing is I know that many traders uh, traded moving average one minute chart but even if you don't trade scalps or you don't want to use it on one minute time frame these settings are even good to show on four hour time frame 34 EMA, 34 EMA high, low, close okay it's good, it's, the rejections for these channels are re really really good so you can see some nice rejection out of the channel in the trend direction Okay, and finally we have Donkian channel. Donkian channel is again a channel which is uh, using two dynamic trend lines, and Donkian channel is mostly used for breakout purposes. Okay, breakout purposes. Traders who I know are not using Donkian channels for uh, placing trades inside the channel. So Donkian channel is used for breakout type of trading. Okay? So it is formed by taking the highest high and the lowest low of last defined period. Yeah, it looks similar to Bollinger Band, but it's different. Uh, you can define periods in the indicator itself. The, the, the periods can be day, hour, minute, and it's actually, yeah, it's a similar to uh, Bollinger Band, but the thing is, it's also used for volatility. And Bollinger Bands are also showing you the volatility, but Donkian Channel is also telling you the volatility. So it's used for volatility. When you see that the channel is narrow, as in this example, the price is stable and we can expect a breakout, okay? So when the channel is narrow here, we can expect breakout. Okay, look at the narrow. This this is really narrow here. The wide wide channel, the price fluctuates, and you look at this. It's a wide channel, and the price is fluctuating. At this point, we can expect breakout, and at this point, there was a breakout. So traders are trading donkey and channel breakouts. Mark my mark my words again. We have a range, and this at this time the range is tightening, so we can expect breakout. Bang! From this top here, there was a breakout. At this top, there was a breakout. Then there was a big range, and the price has been congesting again at this point. And at this point, we define this as a potential narrow channel, and we can expect a breakout. Breakout happened at this point. Breakout, retest, continuation. So breakout, trigger, happy, retest here, or pullback, and continuation point below this candle. Okay, so Donkian channels are used for guys breakout trading. Uh, I will show you, uh, Greg. Yeah, Greg is asking, how do I move just one of the lines in the equidistant channel? Trying but can't. Yeah, I will show you now on the chart what you usually can do with these uh, channels. Okay, let me pause the screen, open my chart here. So this is actually equidistant channel. So you want to move equidistant channel. This is how you do it. 
And, uh, Greg and all of you who want to move the lines, uh, when you see three spots, this, when you move this, the whole channel will move. But if you click this, here you will see only one single spot. This line can be moved. So basically you can, you can move this because it's a top. Okay? Here, another example. Just for showcase purposes, guys. Okay, look. You move it all, you move it like this. So you just need to spot when there are three spots here, when you, you need to see the three spots. Click on the channel line, you see one, two, three. If you move this line, the whole channel will move. The upper channel, you can move it freely. The upper channel line, look. Only one spot. Okay, is, is it clear now, Greg? Just type yes if it's clear. Okay, but you need to, def you need to spot the channel by yourself. Now, obviously, if you're easier to do it, to do with your with the SHI indicator, no problem. I can send you the indicator, but it's not it's not hard really. You can open I don't know 15 minute time frame if it's easier for you, and if you trade on 15 minute time frame, actually it's pretty straightforward. Look how the price is behaving. And actually you can move this channel top here. Or you can move it even here. But I usually want to connect two points. So this is point one, this is point two, this is point three. So actually breakouts can be taken inside the channel. Yeah, you, can, you cannot move the lower one. The low, if you move the lower one, basically the whole channel will move so you just move the top one okay see the lower always moves the channel but the top one you can basically move it you don't need to move guys you don't need to move lower one because these uh, the lower one will always be pinpointing you the direction okay look at this it's much easier to move move it like this for example okay and you still have a downtrend okay one two three nice for breakout and trends uh, uh, yeah, Don Donkian channel is not in MT4, but you can uh, you can find it on the internet. And uh, usually, Donkian channel is a separate indicator. And look at this example. For example, 15 minute time frame. So guys, spot this. This is uh, Euro GBP 15 minute time frame. You see, at this point. So pretend not to see what happened after this. We don't know what will happen. So at this point, there was a huge uptrend. Okay? And this was, look at the channel width. It's a huge. Okay? And then there was a narrowing of Donkian channel here. And we can expect a breakout. Look at this. This is the point where we can expect breakout. We mark the channel low here and the previous price action. Bang. Look at this. Straight to the downside. So it can actually, Donkian channels can be very helpful if you want to take breakout trade, guys. Okay, remember that. Uh, yeah, uh, Law is asking Donkey and Channel is good for lower time frame. Yes, it's good for lower time frames. You can you but you need to know what you're doing. You can trade it on a lower in a lower time frame. 
Uh, Justinius is asking how I can turn on these data where channel slope is written. Uh, you need to use Justinius SHI indicator. If you don't have SHI indicator, uh, write me an email requesting the indicator and I will uh, send it to you. And for all of you who don't want to bother with trying to find SHI indicator across the internet, you just need to email me. I will be sending the indicator to you. It's, it's okay. It's free to use and it's, it's not hard coded. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, I, I I would I would recommend if you use breakouts, then drop to lower time frame and spot the Duncan channel narrowing, and then you can take the trade. It's actually pretty much straightforward. You don't have to have any hassle with it, let's say, GBP Audi. Here is the example. We saw a big price movement here, and then at this point, we saw the narrowing of the channel. So we can expect breakout, right? So the price actually broke out here at this point, so. Look at this. <laughs> Huge move to the upside. And yes, because every breakout, you know breakout theory, every break, breakout is buying into resistance, okay, or selling into support. And then if you do breakout rates, you need to use a proper stop loss placement. And obviously for this breakout, your stop loss should be a lot bigger. But that is why I say always use these channels with other indicators to tell you where you should take those breakouts. In this example, we can see a breakout to the upside, which you probably would take, but then there was a fake out to the downside. Now remember my story from the beginning of the webinar. We don't use these channels just by themselves. We need to use other indicators which are complementing for that particular strategy. Don't, don't can channels are used for breakouts. So if you want to trade breakouts, with Duncan channels, you should use other filters. So if this was your long trade, your stop loss should have been below this point, and you would never take any of these fake outs. And bang, to the upside, huge breakout, 200 pips. Okay? So guys, if you have any questions, you can ask me now. I think everything is clear. Channel types, ascending, descending, in trend. Watch out for price movement inside the channel. A Donkian channel, you don't need to watch price movement inside the Donkian channel because it's only used for breakouts. But for all other channel types, guys, watch the price inside the channel, okay? Inside the channel, that is very important. And guys, if you want to have SHI indicator, email me, I will send you, okay? Simple and clear. Definitely, as Jan is saying, you just need to apply it to your own system and apply your own, loo your, your own rules. Greg is asking, do I use Donkian much? And no, Greg. I know how, how Donkian channel is used. I know the theory behind Donkian channel, but I use only my, my uh, Camarilla MACD breakout method. Actually, Every single analysis which I do for you and every single trade I may make is based on four types of trades. Scalps, counter trend, trend breakout, Camarilla MACD trades. But most of the time I, I'm presenting you the analysis which is taken from my Camarilla MACD. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. So... We will talk about all of this again, of course. I will do probably another breakout session with you to show you how you can actually use some confluence points with finding breakouts. But at this point, it's important for you to know about these channel types. We will talk about Andrew's Pitchfork in one of our next webinars. But for the moment, 
use this knowledge to complement for your trading and always observe the price within the zone within the channel not just the touch of channel lows and tops thank you for listening I wish you a very pleasant evening do not trade now because FOMC is in one hour okay so feel free to relax and enjoy and we will talk again very soon thank you for listening and trade safe cheers